Servi Selenge once found a pearl in one of the thousands of oysters she has shucked at Sejuna's Oyster Barn. Her Mongolian name means peace pearl. She starts shucking well before daylight. Today I wake up 3 o'clock and then come here 3.30. And then, yeah, I need to start work, shucking. Mm. I used to come from Smoky Bay. And then every morning and every after lunch, we shuck, we shuck again. <laughs> Off the twist, and then here in the knife here. Suvi opens 50 to 60 dozen oysters each day. Now it's not, not much sore because shucking all, every day but muscles like behind me like, <laughs> well I like it, I like to shuck. She's cleaned 120 oysters in 30 minutes. Suvi grew up a world away from the ocean in landlocked Mongolia, living in a traditional Mongolian gur near the capital Ulaanbaatar. She cooked from an early age, helping her father make noodles for a takeaway lunch bar restaurant. Her life path led her to buy the oyster barn on South Australia's isolated far west coast. People come to Sejuna and some people say it's on their wish list. Sit on top of the oyster barn and eat oysters and we actually get very humbled by that. We're like, what, really? But yeah, it's pretty cool. Some of the stories people say to us, or they've heard about us, you know, walking somewhere in Byron Bay, and they said, oh, if you're going through and you're going across the Nullarbor, make sure you call into the oyster barns. Okay. Summertime, in the morning, very nice. People just come in 9, 10 o'clock and just sit down and shuck the oyster breakfast. <laughs> I've been having a beer early. I'm like, oh, it's early. I'm in holiday. I say, yes, you are. It's beautiful. She's put the barn on the tourism map, but it's been there for 22 years. My husband, Grant, his great uncle, started the oyster barn. They've got an oyster lease at Denial Bay. That's pretty well where the oysters sort of started in this area. They used to have an honesty system here where they used to leave the great big wheat bags of oysters out the back in a little shed and the truck drivers or whoever were picking them up would just leave their cash there and pick up the oysters. And they're quite gutted when they ask for that nowadays and we can't leave the oysters out overnight in the back shed for them to pick up. After five years of 16-hour days, four days a week, shucking over 500,000 oysters, Suvi has sold the oyster barn to sit back and enjoy the sea views. Along with her children, she's also become an Australian citizen this year. When you go in Sijin, it's a beautiful ocean, I love it. Um, when you're walking near the sailing club, you can see that sometimes dolphin is just jumping. There are seagulls, maybe seagulls. Yeah. I really love.